I haven't done a general update video in a while, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, so a few things I want to talk about. One is a little bit about me, how I've been doing. Uh, some about current projects and some stuff about near future projects. So a little bit about me. Um, you know, the last few years have been very difficult for me and I, I feel like I just recently got over the hump, like got over the most difficult part. Because, you know, it's, it's difficult to start a new life in a new place, particularly when you don't speak the language that well, and you don't know anyone, and you don't know how anything works or anything. You know, it's, it's, been, it's been very difficult. I mean, enjoyable, too. And uh, originally, I wasn't even going to document the last few years, because I knew I'd be going through some H-E double hockey sticks. But uh, you guys were like, no, no, keep, keep the camera on, keep the camera on. And now i got to say thanks for pressuring me into do that, doing that, because now I'm glad I did. Um, and I know I've been a little bit abrasive, maybe cold, not, not had the, the presence of mind to have all the social graces I should maybe have over the last few years, but I feel like I'm turning back into a human being now. So that's good. Um, and you know, over the last few years, thank you to everyone who's, who's been understanding of all of that and who's been supportive of me during that time, uh, emotionally and financially you know, through my Patreon or PayPal or Bitcoin or whatever, you know, I saved enough money to come to Panama and live here, but in a very minimalistic way. So all the, all the more interesting projects and all the experimental stuff where I get to learn a lot and hopefully you guys get to learn a lot. Uh, all that stuff is because you guys donate money. So super thanks for that. All right, enough about me, but thank you. Um, current projects. Okay, if you watch my videos at all, you know I've been working on this boat, so I won't go into it a ton because there's a whole video series on it. But I just went the other day to the store to pick up a bunch of PVC pipes, and there's some other materials inside this hatch to make the solar sails. These things, which are going to be kind of like this, blah, blah, blah. And on that subject, I decided at the beginning of this year that for this entire year, and presumably into the future, I would no longer be taking gasoline rides to town. So not hiring anyone to take me to town. Just pedal boating, solar boating, whatever whatever I can do with my own stuff. And uh, so far I've been sticking to that. I think I've gone to town two times this year in a gasoline boat, cause that, but that's because someone else was going and I just went with them. But for all my trips, I've been going either pedal boating or solar boating. and. I did go in this boat the other day to pick up that stuff and uh, it took maybe eight hours round trip, seven or eight hours round trip. I didn't time it exactly, uh, but I got back and I wasn't too tired. The next day I was able to do stuff, not totally useless, and that's without any motor assistance and with, with only one peddler. So that's really good. So I must be getting either in, in good shape or this boat is excellent. This boat is excellent. All right, what else have I been working on? I've been digging. And that is so I can build my super duper workshop headquarters house, which is going to look like this. All right, I drew this quite a while ago, long enough ago that the paper is like half missing now. However, I've pretty much kept the same idea. I want to have a big open bottom floor that mostly has a high ceiling, but around the, around the outside of the dome, on the second floor, I want to make a running track that's really banked because it's not going to be that big a building. And then the third floor, I mean, there will be space for a fourth floor, but I want no fourth floor. I just want a big open ceiling, gymnasium room, basketball, volleyball, you know, running around areas for when it's raining out. And I just want it somewhere to, to play with the kids and stuff or by myself. I'll climbing ropes that will go from down here all the way up. Fun house. Now there is one difference from this that I want to change. Okay, one of the things I loved about my dome in Vermont was this steel pipe frame that was everywhere inside. And uh, oh, and I will definitely have space for a trampoline on the third floor. But the steel frame meant you could climb on it all over the place. So the steel pipe frame inside the dome meant you could climb all over inside the dome. You could attach things all over the place, anywhere to these steel pipes. It was just, a, it was one of my favorite things in the dome. It made, 
uh, it was just really useful for a lot of things and it was fun and it was really cool. So I was thinking, how could I do that here? You know, there's salt water everywhere. Everything rusts. And I was starting to think, well, what if I could just get enough stainless steel pipes? And of course, at first I thought, yeah, right. But then I did the math. I think for like $1,500, I can do it. Um, I'm going to have to negotiate pretty good on the price of that. Uh, hopefully I can get a discount by buying in volume. But that's worth it to me. $1,500 for this stainless steel frame, which will change the shape. Like, it'll change the way I build the dome a little. I think I'll go more straight up and then kind of in instead of, you know, parabolic. Because the steel frame will will hold the weight and I won't have to... I can just, I can just make it different. So I think I'm going to try to do that. Oh, and I already have the the stainless steel bolts to bolt it all together. Uh, I bought those on Craigslist a while ago. Some guy was selling 3,500 stainless steel bolts for $250, which is like 10% of what they cost normally. So I just bought them and uh, I won't need that many for this, but I think I'm gonna use like 100 for this thing. And there are still some logistics to work out. I need to go to the store and negotiate with the dude because I've got the prices from the, the manufacturer and blah, 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 and I need to get them here. But I, I think I can make it happen. Oh, and I'll get some extra stainless steel parts while I'm doing that, hopefully in a bulk order where I can get it cheaper, because of another project I want to do pretty soon after the dome is finished. Like once I've got like a, a nice big workshop, I think one of the first things I want to make is a, a giant robot another giant robot. So my first giant robot was this crazy thing. It was like 12, 10, 12 feet tall, several meters tall. I do have lots of designs of walking machines that I'm considering. I think I'm gonna go with this design. Cause there's like one more level of refinement in the spider tank design that I wanna do. All right, all right. Yeah, that's basically what we're talking about. And, uh... <laughs> so the spider tank design, because, you know, at first I made a few and then made a decent one, then made one that actually was a toy that was sold in stores. Uh, you know, I've gone through a lot of refinements, uh, but I think, I think one more refinement and it'll be done. And uh, with all the fiberglass experience I have now, I think I can make a really awesome robot of that. Now, one of the reasons I want to I want to build that particular robot is because I've kind of been getting inspired by a video game I've been playing that has those robots in it. It's a video game I've been working on, and uh, <clears throat> let me show you in a second. Oh, and just last night I got to the ending of the video game. I still have to go back to uh, you know do lots of touch-ups and you know add more sounds and effects and stuff. But like the story is like, I don't want to say anything about the ending, but I got to the part where you, where you save the world, basically, you know, if you're good enough. So I've been playing this video game where, you know, you drive around this robot and, you know, I'm enjoying it a lot. I've also been making the video game, you know, to kind of be the kind of game I would like. So oh, get out of here, guys. But anyway, now I kind of want to drive a real one. I don't want to give away too much here. Oh great, now they started playing, I'm going to play for a while. Okay, I gotta go. So in a nutshell, I want to build this thing right here. Like, with this guy to scale, pretty much. And there are some other projects I'm thinking about, but that's, that's the one I've been thinking about a lot lately. Probably because of working on this video game. Uh, okay, another big project that's coming up is I want to build a guest house. One of, one of my friends here and I are going to do this together. Uh, so we want to build a guest house because people often ask if they can come visit. I don't really have very good accommodations or anything. And I was thinking, you know, I should make a guest house that's just on, on its own little island with, you know, a guest house, a nice outdoor cooking area, a place to poop, you know, 
stuff like that. <clears throat> and uh, something I want to do with this is I want to start having like week long events where, and this is all still up in the air. This is a, I'm I'm still working out exactly how I want to do this, but this is my my first take on it. It's like get 10 to 20 people to come at once. I'll have bunks in there, so there'll be plenty of places to, to sleep. But you know, people will be kind of together. Maybe I'll have to build two concrete domes. Um, so people will come for a week and we'll work on some projects together, do some stuff, hang out, go kayaking around the islands, you know, just have a fun week of stuff to do. <clears throat> uh, and there are three projects that I've been thinking would be good to include, like categories of projects. One would be something people can take home with them. So make a spoon or a spatula or something. I don't know, something, some project that's small enough that people can take home with them. And I'll, I'll have a list of different things we can work on, you know, ideas. And if it, anyone has their own idea, fine, cool. Um, okay, the second category was something that will improve the area. So it would be good if each group uh, worked on some project that made the area where they were staying better. So like maybe one group would be like, hey, we're going to make a brick oven for making pizzas. And the next group is like, hey, we're going to make this dock or, or, or something. You know, we're going to make a path through the jungle. Or, you know, then, then every group that comes will make the place cooler for the next group. And then the third category, I was thinking we should work on something that I'm currently working on. Uh, because I presume a lot of people who will come to this, if people come to this, will be people who watch my videos. And that way they can say, hey, that thing in that video there, I worked on that, I helped. So people will actually help, on, help with something that I'm actively working on, whatever is going on at the time. Uh, and there will be a lot of flexibility with this, of course. If people have ideas or one group is like, we want to work on this one thing all week, or we just want lots of free time, whatever, you know. Uh, so the guideline will be flexible, of course. Um, now I can't do this for free, obviously. Um, I don't. I don't need to make a bunch of money off this or anything. It's more for social interaction and you know, possibly even meeting some people who'd want to move here. So uh, yeah, so I can't do it for free, obviously. Now places around here cost like five hundred dollars a night, and I was thinking more like five hundred dollars ish or something like that for the week, like weekend, week, weekend, uh, and that'll include a place to stay food and materials for whatever projects we do um, and that that should definitely cover it <clears throat> uh, that's what I'm thinking so far I'm, I'll figure out more details as I go but uh, first we just need to build the place okay what else is going on yeah this one's still alive my arcade controllers are still doing awesome stainless wheelbarrow and shovels doing excellent work Tire sandals, doing really well. The grippy grabber is still rescuing things from the ocean, or wherever. Oh, apparently the rain still works. House is doing great. I've got a bunch of boards in here drying. The zombie chopper is excellent. That's the, that's the most comfortable ride to town. You know, just doesn't have a lot of storage space. The houseboat's still holding together. And uh, there's my internet antenna up there, still working. This here breadfruit tree is getting pretty tall. No breadfruit yet. Oh, over here there's a water apple tree. Excited for that. This papaya tree is amazing. Oh, it's doing so good. It just, it just constantly got papayas. And every few days it drops one. Look at the size of these suckers. I know they're not that big, but I'm excited about them. Oh, isn't that excellent? Well, that one's gonna fall off soon. I've got bananas growing. I think there's three chunks of bananas in here right now. That one's not very big. I might need more compost in this banana clump. This banana clump is a newer one, but I already got a huge thing of bananas off this one a few days ago. How you doing, Bells? Are you uh, getting your two front teeth yet? Yep, still like a vampire. Still like a vampire? Yep, pizza. Oh, you like pizza, do you? Should we have pizza for dinner? Mm. Yeah. This here concrete water tank I made 
is just concrete, no liner or anything. It's been working spectacularly. We've been drinking out of it. Everything's good. And this is my silly concrete gutter that comes to the pipe that goes into the tank. And it has had no problems. Hey, Aurora. How you doing? Good. How many books did you read this week? I don't know. A bunch of Nancy Joe books. Like 20 of them? <laughs> no, not 20 of them. I told that people ask about the schoolroom a lot. So I'm in the schoolroom right now. Over here, we've got lots of books. I'm sure Aurora has read every single one. Actually, I don't think I have, but I also don't. And this is Aurora's desk. A sewing machine over here. And castle tower you've been building. And a naked lady. <gasps> There's a naked lady there. I thought that would be on my desk. Her name's Belle. And you're working on a, a doll. Putting hair on a head right now. Cool. Hey Bellatrix, can we see your desk next? Mm -hmm. What's on your desk? I have to get past the window so it doesn't mess up the lighting. This is your uh, princess tower you're working on? Mm -hmm. I haven't got to get the car. I haven't got to glue in the roof. On, the roof on. I haven't got to that part yet. Oh. Cool. I'm get, but I'm getting <laughs> there. Did you make this calendar? Mama made this calendar, didn't Mama. she? Mama! Mama helped me. Oh, very good. I can't believe how clean your desk is. And this is where Mama does school stuff, right? And then we have another bookshelf over here. And that's my bookshelf. That's my bookshelf. Oh, this is your bookshelf? Very nice, very nice. Oh, are you going to tell me about the bookshelf? Well, this one's a fiction bookshelf. Oh, and is the other one the non-fiction bookshelf? Oh, very good. The one back here. This is all non-fiction. Reference books and things like that. Not sorted by, the, by what kind of book they are. Oh, very good, very good. So let's see. We've got The Cosmic Landscape here. Have you read that one yet? No, it's Mama's. Oh, you didn't read that one yet? No. Why not? It's, it's a little complicated. It's about string theory. What's string theory? Oh, she's going to read it now. Yes, these are the ducks that were recently like this big. All right, I think we can get a quick shot of upstairs. All right, let's go past the potty. Ooh, it's kind of nice up here. Somebody's been cleaning her room. view I haven't gotten on camera before. There's the shark slicer with all that wood that's drying in it. Here's the zombie chopper. Alright, let's see if we can stick the camera out the top here since it's open. Somebody's living in a lap of luxury. Two fans? What? Oh, looks like someone is enjoying candles, too. Oh, and apparently Deshana made a bookshelf for baby books. Oh, looks like adult books on the bottom and baby books on the top. I'm sorry, little boy books. He's not a baby, of course. And what do we do to lock little boys up here? Hey, Gibbs, is there anything else that people ask about all the time? 
Well, they asked like what the surrounding area around my house looks like. So oh. maybe like. You want to we stick the camera out the window then? Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> this side. Just oh, God, that's where that went. That's my butt cushion. I need to go grab that. What? Anyway, this side's just water. This side is a bit of land here, and then just mangroves for a while. And you can see that, and the mangroves just grow in the water. It's laundry day. This, and then this window looks out here to the drawbridges, which don't draw at all. Boats and stuff. Oh, look who woke up. What are you doing, dude? Doing it. What are you doing? Tacos. You want to have some tacos? Oh, he wasn't lying. There are tacos. Nice. Oh, that's Don't cool. The body. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty much what's going on around here lately. Uh, and I'm sure I've missed something of the utmost importance, but I'm going to eat lunch. Here's a Here's a view while I'm gone. Hey, are you a banana? <laughs>